welcome to episode two of walking the route the Bakerloo line we just left Wembley Central and we're on our way to Stonebridge Stonebridge Park Stonebridge Park there's a depot there so we're gonna have a quick look around that um, obviously over here I think I mentioned it in the last episode is um, Wembley Euro Freight International Centre So that's a big massive freight yard at Wembley where all the stuff comes up from Dolan's Moor. And the stuff then goes into um, from the uh, up north West Coast Main Line as well. So we're kind of leaving the West Coast Main Line here because we're now going to go underneath it and go out on. So we're on the West Coast Main Line is on our right hand side. Oh, this is, yes, I just got electrocuted. Hit the third rail. Right, so I've got to be careful because I know there's a train. On the way down on the way back there will be in a bit so if we're walking in the direction of the travel basically where the train or, or in, in the oncoming direction of travel so as you can see the west coast main line will be going over us and we'll be going under literally the the the, the yard throat for uh wembley european freight operation center which is totally all inaccessible inaccessible I don't know. Can we go up here? Let's see if we can get a look. Oh, look! There you go. So that's um, that's the yard area with the West Coast Main Line. A couple of buildings there in the di distance and that. So um, that's quite a nice little view, actually. Always try to get those views in if you haven't a look. See what it's like. That looks quite impressive. The fact the fact that they've actually got the signals here and everything. That's pretty cool. So. Could we be seeing a, a Euston to Milton Keynes, possibly, or Euston to Watford or something? Oh, hello. So this is obviously a few days after release. This is I'm recording this. We'll have a look at this signal as well. See what state it is. Right, so we've got nothing coming at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to be a pain. Also, we can, oh, I was going to say, we can have a look down to that point. So that's all barriered off, you see. So the yard, now, we're, we're going around the back of the yard. I'm not sure where that line comes from, so someone in the comments, please write and let me know. So that's Stonebridge Park there, and we're going to have a look at that in a second. And all this part uh, is here as well. You we can walk down there. So we'll be leaving the... I don't think there'll be anything here. Oh, so we can go in here. I don't know what this place is then. Some depot to... So you can't go in there. So it's some depot that's being lines not being used anymore by the looks of it. The same with this bit here. So it's some hmm, strange. Someone might be able to tell me what it is. So there shouldn't be any shouldn't be any collectibles around here. This is the um, still part of Stonebridge Park. I think this is where they do the carriage cleaning or something like that for the. Um, for the sleeper trains which we can't we don't do we don't access to oh isn't this the old stonebridge park this is the old railway depot i think i'm not 100 percent sure but wow we can actually walk around this <laughs> and look, according to this I'm in no man's land. So what they've done, they've done, what they've done here, they, they've done literally exactly the same what they did with the um, uh, Oakville sub. They've taken all the lines that are inaccessible, they've taken them off the map so that the wet wipes don't complain that they can't access them. That's what they've done. And I think it looks, it makes it look terrible. If you look at how 
if you find a picture of how Oakville subdivision looked when it was um when it had all the map and everything on it it was absolutely amazing it was huge now it looks rubbish just to appease the wet wipes that couldn't handle it so that's just some old stone bridge park depot i think i'm not as surely and that's part of the new one over there which we can't access so we've got an underground train going into the depot i believe or is this no this is going past the depot so this is a passenger one where's he off to harrow he should be off to harrow Harrow moves them up. Kind of reminds me of like a dodgings. Right, so we're going to go off around the depot anyway, the new uh, Stonebridge Park depot. So you could go through the washer as well. All cats are going to be looking at the screen now going, What the hell? It just doesn't quite have the. the, the... See the old lights going on and off, look. is awesome it doesn't quite have the same clip the, the rail clack as the, uh, the proper underground trains does it that's the annoying thing right so let's make our way around to Stonebridge Park depot facility so with um, the services for um, the Bakerloo line there are currently 201 services throughout the day there he goes oh he's going into the depot look it's a bit weird there's 201 services throughout the day but that will be expanded up to 200 uh, up to 100 uh, up to 451 so they're adding an extra 250 services so i don't think there is anything collectible in here which we'll just have a look but you never know with dovetail though that's the thing i think they might put something in here they might not so obviously the other thing is as well is that you can't oh hello i don't think i'll be able to do it with anything else will i you can't get you can't get into the door okay so they disabled it because they didn't want people coming out and getting walking out in the tunnels and then basically falling out or getting murdered by a train it's it's not good it's not good good practice is it really um so yeah so this is basically stonebridge park part one of it and i think the other part just down here so we'll just can't be asked there you go so this is the other part and it just gives you a little sort of idea of the size of the depot really There's eight trains there. Not in service, written all over them. Look. So I wonder if they all got not in service at the ends here, whether it's Harrow and Wilson, or do they just change when they actually get to the to, to the uh, to the start point and they'll put in the the the, the blind settings. So look. 
I've got to do these. I'll, I'll look for this. No, it's all not in service. Oh, okay. Right, so, okay. So, we've done Stonebridge Park. Well, Stonebridge Park Depot. We're now going to go for Stonebridge Park. gives you a nice little glimpse of the depot because some most of the services you won't be going through the depot or de going to depot to depot unless, unless you actually do some of the scenario creator stuff which at the moment at the time of videoing uh, which is just after release I couldn't you I can't use scenario creator on the PlayStation because it crashes the same with the livery creator that crashes as well so there is a patch in the works and hopefully by the time that this comes out it should be there, there should be a number of patches addressing certain bugs and everything including the the scenario and livery creator saves so onwards and upwards we're off to uh, stonebridge park there's the uh carriage cleaning works in the background there i don't think we can actually get out on that can we no. So we're not going to pass through the washer again. There may be services where you actually start from um, a thingy. Splish splash, splish splash. So obviously there's some uh, assets being used from uh, some of the other things like this, which was the. Uh, um, what do they call it? Coming in on the um, north northeast corridor. Um, sorry, I'd Carry on on my way. Another useless message. So signal for those points are a bit weird. So you've got nothing coming at the moment. So as long as we get one or two videos in for uh, the one or two underground trains in the videos. Right, so I think this is Stonebridge Park Depot. By the looks of it, it is. So we'll just scoop up here. There's nothing there. Um, I like they've actually got the old plastic bag sort. They've modelled that rubbish in it, and obviously you've got the help point. You can't click the help point, which is really annoying. Beep beep. So the next train is in nine minutes, then followed by eleven minutes if you after that. At Ten any minutes. Time, feel free to contact a member of station staff or use the help point. There's a little bit of uh, what you call it going on. So this is Stonebridge Park, isn't it? But there's nothing about. Right. Ah, newspaper. Anything down here? So we can walk down here. So I'll do that in a second. There's a poster over there. Another big poster over there. Well, they certainly don't hang. <laughs> they certainly don't hang about when they come flying into the station, do they? Right. So let's do the old uh, walkie downy the stairs thing. I thought you'd be able to go out there then. Right, so route map, poster, mind the gap.
So you get an, actually you got a nice little view here of the coach washing plant as well over there. So that's quite cool. I think that's, is that for the Pendolinos as well? I don't know. Can't remember. Someone will tell me in the comments, hopefully. So there's nothing there. Nothing there. I think that'll be it for that. Anyone with any sense, the newspapers, you'll have them in the... Uh, you'll have the newspapers under undercover. Right, on our way. Um, Hull's done next. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's a bit weird, isn't it? It will not let me over the bridge. Okay. So, I've had to forward time a bit. Um, we're now currently uh, still at Stonebridge, but we're waiting for our uh, our train because I can't cross the bridge. So um, yes, uh, Halston it is. Is the next port call? I think it's probably anything like it was in Ryan, in the Hapstrecker Ryan Ruhr route. Is where if you walk across the bridge, you go through the scenery, which um, or you go through the bridge. To the road below and then you've got no chance of getting back up but it's a nice area because it, it's nice because you can then <laughs> pardon the pun but you can actually explore that area as well god i feel like jeff marshall <laughs> right our train is approaching very slowly i must say that is quite good how they've done it it all works off the t the, the timetable Get any faster, mate, you might fall over. Seriously? Was that needed? Um, do I want to pretend to be a train driver? No. You've got no sound either. Make sure you shut the doors. So we're there somewhere. Oh. So I'm getting off at the next station. So it gives us a chance to have a look at. Um, oh, hello. So this is the uh, Royal Mail Princess Royal Distribution Center, the Royal Mail PRDC, um, where it houses the Class 325s and the Royal Mail livery. Again, it'd been made such uh, such a good sense to have those. I mean, look, it's all re well detailed. Obviously, it hasn't got the Royal Mail logo on there because a bit of licensing. They can't do that. And it's empty. It does do that from time to time. Lag a bit. It's empty. It's completely empty, look. And then someone built a wall. So I'm catching the train down to Harlesden because I can't cross over the bridge. It's coming into Willesden. And we just arrived at Willesden. Like I said, I feel like Jeff Marshall. You don't know who Jeff Marshall is? Look him up. What the... Right there, I'm sure. Good. Right, okay, so we might as well start on this side. 
they'll speed up in a minute. Just on the thingy, what does this say on the back? Stonebridge Park. There's a depot. Oh, okay. Right, so Wilson's Depot over there. All part of Wilson Depot. We'll go over there and look in that a minute if we can. Right, so at Holston now. Basically, what we got? We got newspaper thing there by the looks of it. One minute to the next train. I think they said there's a maximum of nine trains running on the line up and down all the time. Well, there might be the odd extra one, and then that will go back to the depot. We'll start from the depot. Bakerloo line. Remember that one as well. Uh, make your mind up where you're going. How far can we go out? We can't go out around there. Oh, that's as far as we can go, look. So you have a nice little look over the West Coast Main Line there. There's the other bridge, the other train coming in. Let's see what we've got here. Elephant and Castle. Poster. So you've literally had mostly all the everything at the moment. What's that? Double Decker Time Machine 2. Timeless action adventure. Music. Oh, and the newspapers. Didn't see that. Music by Big Bus. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. And quickly have a look to see what's on the end. Harrow and Wilson. So there's a little bit more of the old uh, East Coast, West Coast Main Line. Right, so we're on our way back now. This is Wilsden Junction, is it? This Holston, sorry. And we're on our way to Wilsden... Wilsden Junction. So I'll get to Wilsden Junction and then I will... I think I'll stop. This is the other thing as well. It's, oh, hello. This is how close you can get to the West Coast Main Line. So, um, yeah. Oh, you can't go up there. That's a damn shame. So you're going past the freight line of depot or the container terminal. Pop under the. I think it's the access road for one of the one of the things. I I I, I have seen this, but I can't remember where it is. Let's hope we don't fall through the map. Torch is pretty useless. We shouldn't have anything coming towards us anyway. It does that. Hopefully that will get fixed over the next couple of months. That engine type noise is the container crane working which we'll see in a minute one there I think they basically use the same type crane what they've got in um Perhaps check a Rhine Rare or main specific barn, I think it is. Main specific barn. Would have been nice if they actually put cables, um, not cables, um, containers in the yard area, but 
obviously don't hold your breath so you want a better look you can just climb on that and there you go so it's well detailed it's well detailed apart from lack of containers right so we're approaching Wilson Junction Wilson high level um, I don't think you can access that we'll have a look Right, so we'll do the down platform first. It doesn't matter really, does it? Does does that mean does this indicate that we can actually have um, like Elephant and Castle to Wilsden Junction trains? Not that I've seen any. Well, I haven't really looked to be honest. But that'd be interesting. So there's nothing coming on there. We've got another train in 23 minutes, which is about right. There's nothing here, look. Well, have I not missed it? Have I missed it? Okay. Well, first off, let's have a. Uh, let's just go around here. I think there's a post there, look. Post up. I'd. I'd TS trains in world dedicated station. So that means I've done a um, certain amount of jobs. I don't think it's 10, it could be more than 20. Posters, there's another poster there, look. Newspaper thing, where's your metro stand? Oh, I thought they'd have that here. Where have I missed it? There we go. So you don't have that many. I don't think there'll be any there. No. All right, so we go up and down these steps. See what we have. I know people will look at this thing; it's always boring, but you know. Oh, I've done that one already. Look. I think I did that one earlier this morning. Or it might have been last night, actually. Right. Because if you go here, I don't know where is it you go. If you go here, you go out to the bus station. If you go that way, you go out to the bus station. But you can't access it access it from this side. If you go over to this way... Down these stairs... Oh, sorry, up these stairs... So you can go out around here. But you can't go any further there. It's just a little bit of the old depot area there. If you go. Oh, how the hell did I do it yesterday then? I managed to get up on the Wilson Junction. How did I do it? Wilson High Level. Oh, I did it. Oh, I th no, you can't. I did it by the um, flyby, I think. I don't think you can do it by this. No, you can't. I did it by the flyby. That's why I was able to have a little look around the top of Wilson Junction. Right. So, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it here because we're on the half an hour. And, uh, yeah. So... I shall get this sorted um so yeah if you've enjoyed the video leave a like uh subscribe to the channel press the bell icon um follow my discord there's also there'll be a cert there'll be a link in the cert uh the server link in the description um yeah um leave a comment on what you like about train sim world 2 what you don't like about train sim world 2 what you'd further content you'd like to see Trains in World 2. Obviously, multiplayer has been been thrown around. They want to do it. This is a stepping stone so they can actually do it successfully. Um, the same with Steam Engines. I think we all want Steam Engines. Not all of us want multiplayer, though. Um, but yeah, uh, leave a like. Um, tell me what you think of it. Um, the game, that is. 
Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Speak to you later. Have fun and goodbye.